Alhamdulillah wa salatu wa salam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam Amma ba'da habita fillah A question was asked Assalamu alaikum brother I would like your opinion on how do we take the scholarship of say Mufti Munir over Dr. Jonathan Brown Both are hadith scholars But one learned his field in the west when the other in the lands of the believers Can we take both as being upon correct guidance? Is a degree from the west better than the one from the east? Um, so, first and foremost, I have to say, I don't know who the Dr. Jonathan Brown you're talking about, because I do recall, uh, Dr. Jonathan Brown that lived in Medina or his brother, I, I believe he lived in Medina and he was, uh, you know, an actual medical doctor and he's written some books, but I think he hasn't studied, you know, the Islamic sciences. So I don't know. I don't believe that that's him, or perhaps it's him, but I, I don't know anything about uh, his credentials in uh, scholarship as far as Islamic scholarship and as far as uh, being a Hadith scholar. It's a big statement. Uh, and you said, but one learned his field in the West. So, uh, of course, in the West you can study, but there isn't a comparison. I don't know of any high-powered scholars on that level that you're going to study the hadith sciences uh in the uh in the west whereas in the uh muslim lands you have people you have long traditions and uh a silsila you know a chain of scholarship that goes back uh in many of the muslim lands uh for example i'm sure in pakistan and ahla hadith in india and of course in Saudi Arabia those ulama and you know all over the Muslim world I, I, and I, in Yemen uh, is very especially Ahl Sunnah there they concentrate a lot on hadith and um, many of the Muslim countries okay you have muhaddithin probably there's in a place you know Libya to Iraq to wherever you know there's muhaddithin so you have a long tradition there and so the knowledge there no doubt is pure because usually uh, obviously there's going to be uh, there's just a whole different level of scholarship uh, as far as can we take both as being upon guidance correct guidance because someone studied in the east or west that doesn't have to do with their guidance there really isn't a relationship with studying the east or the west between guidance guidance is from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala first and foremost and you know from the tawfiq there's hidayah to tawfiq and hidayah to irshad uh there's the guidance of you know that allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has blessed you and granted you with guidance to understand to embrace islam to uh to learn and to actually give you a, a strong uh result you know that has to do with the result uh, hidayah to irshad that has to do with someone uh giving you dawa or giving you guidance guiding you to that path you know a scholar can give you guidance and, and show you and teach you and give you advice however that uh that guidance is, uh you know as far as you accepting that guidance or benefiting from that guidance that is only from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so uh another thing is when we talk about guidance you know talking about pure guidance meaning being guided to the minhaj of ahl sunnati with jama'ah that's the purest form of guidance because uh, as many of the Salaf said, I don't know which Na'ma is greater, the fact that I was blessed with Islam or I was blessed with the Sunnah. Meaning that, you know, to be to be guided to be from Ahl Sunnah, not just Muslim. You could be a Muslim and be a Mubtadiyah from the various sects. Still Muslim, you know, but the fact of Bid'ah, Bid'ah is sinful. It's sinful. It doesn't take you out of the fold of Islam as long as it's not Bid'ah Mukaffara. Bid'ah which takes you out of the fold of Islam. But if it's bid'ah ghayr mukaffara, then it's it's a sinful. It's one of the biggest sins that you could commit. So, uh, and is rejected as the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wa alaihi wasallam said. So that, as far as guidance, that's a great ni'mah to be guided to the minhaj of Ahl Sunnah, and Ahl Sunnah is, is uh, all over the world. Ahl Sunnah is in France. Ahl Sunnah is in China. Ahl Sunnah is in Uzbekistan. Ahl Sunnah is in Chechnya. Ahl Sunnah is in Kosovo. Ahl Sunnah is in Ethiopia. Ahl Sunnah is in uh, Somalia. Ahl Sunnah is in Yemen. Ahl Sunnah is in Saudi Kuwait. You know, Iraq. Everywhere you'll, you know, all over the world, Muslim and non-Muslim places, 
in Sweden, wherever. Ahl Sunnah Mojud. Ahl Sunnah Mojud in America. In America. In the UK. Ahl Sunnah is there. Jordan. So it's a great ni'mah min ni'amillah. So this is so it's not restricted to a locality, a, a, a people, um, or or race or what have you or nationality. The guidance from Allah Subhanahu wa Taala, the guidance to the madhab of the Sunnah, and this is what we hope that Allah Subhanahu wa Taala favors us with. May Allah Subhanahu wa Taala bless us with the class with the bat. That's all about all I could say. And then I guess the last point you mentioned is a degree from the West better than one from the East. Depends on what you mean. Obviously, you're talking about shari, no comparison. Uh, and we see the results a lot of times for people who study their Islam uh, in the West. We don't have mostly, now I can't say totally, now there are new institutions, a lot of online institutions where you can learn kitab wa sunnah. And there is also even classes, of course, the 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 the, the tulab al-ilm all around. In the UK, I, I know many brothers that are affiliated with institutes that are teaching the book in the sunnah and also in uh in, in america as well and so there's there's many opportunities but however uh, if you mean from the general western secular universities uh studying islam there's no comparison yes they are very different the is what you'll learn in those universities you're not going to learn how necessarily to practice islam but you're going to learn a lot of Islamic philosophy. You're going to learn, you know, the theory. So you'll learn from a lot of Ahl Bid'ah and mostly from Ahl Bid'ah. I don't, you know, and perhaps some other, some people from Ahl Sunnah as well. But you're going to learn a lot of different theoretical practices and, theor and, and, and a different way of analysis. Whereas in Islamic countries, you're learning Islam for practical use as well as the scholarship aspect. And, um, and it's a very, very different experience as the experience of Dr. Qadi, Yasser Qadi, uh, illustrates for us. And uh, unfortunately, his uh, misguidance, which in part a lot of his so-called growth, he mentions, you know, was spurred from his experience in, uh, I think it was Yale that he went to. Um, so that shows you the also the danger that those kind of programs and mostly what i've seen when i've met people who graduate in islamic studies in the western universities that are muslim they're mostly sufis or they are very inclined towards it because they've been bombarded with those things they weren't going to a program to learn how to practice the book and the sunnah but they were learning a lot of theoretical uh and learning uh diverse and divergent ideologies and so on and so forth. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam ala Muhammad.